I really wanted to love the MyTapTap, but anatomically it didn't work. And one word for the manufacturer, for me I think the issue is, is that this is just too long and there is not enough adjustability for me, even maybe an eighth of an inch or something to bring it um, closer so that my nostrils and my teeth can work together. I love some of the novel masks that I'm seeing out there on the market. This one is the strangest by far, but it looked like it had so much potential. My tap pap. So it uses a mouth guard, a boil and bite that you can use, and there are different nasal pillow sizes and it's adjustable in several different ways. It goes in a little bit, but unfortunately, with my anatomy, whatever the deal is, I cannot get it to work for me. I've tried multiple pillows, but I've got mediums in right now, which seems to be common for me with my masks. Okay. Tap, tap. Okay. It will not. There is no angle on this that will allow me to bite, even if my impression was in there, and get these to move into my nostrils with any. Um, it, it's just not working. It's unbelievable. When I do get it to fit, then the, the mouth guard itself is way, way wrong. So. It's just not... I can't get a seal. I tried. So, um... The tap pap, I guess, is not one size for everybody when it comes to jaw structure. Now, I do have a corrected mouth from an overbite as a kid, and I wore braces. Now I've got a little bit of a crossbite, but I think it's more to do with chin anatomy. Chin and, and the distance, but it's just a little too short, and I can't get the nasal pillows no matter what size I use, to reach far enough into my nose to make a seal. So something to be aware of. This is um, one that I'm going to have to reject and get a hold of the company with a mask guarantee and get a refund or replacement. Best of luck.